Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is automatically add Jira issues to Salesforce as task. Now suppose guys you have created a product and the issues and bugs regarding that product to receive the bugs and issues regarding that product you are using Jira software. So your users or your developers or your team members can report a bug for that product using Jira. Now you want to add those very same issues into your Salesforce account as a new task so that your developers team can work on that internally. Now the manual process of getting the details of every issue from Jira and creating tasks in Salesforce can be very much repetitive and time consuming. So in this video, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever a new issue will be reported, a new issue will be created in our Jira software, automatically with very same details, a new task will be created in Salesforce as well. Interesting, right? Now you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Public Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Public Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for pabbly, pabbly.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. So I will name my workflow as Jira to Salesforce. And click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we can see two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we will get the details or the data of new issue which are created in our Jira account in Pavli Connect. Then after that, using Pavli Connect, we will send that very same issues to Salesforce so that we can create a task over there. So here in trigger application in choose app, we have to search for Jira. Jira software it is. After that, in trigger event, we will select configure webhook. After selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we will connect our Jira account with Pavli Connect. So how we are going to do this, you can refer to the help text given below over here. So just copy this webhook URL from here, go to your Jira account and on the right side, just click on this settings button and click on system. After clicking on system, here on the left side, you can see several options over here. Scroll down and you will find an option named as webhook. Click on webhook. Now after reaching to this page, click on create a webhook over here and then give this webhook a name. For example, I'll name my webhook as Pavli Connect. Pavli Connect. After that, the status of this webhook is enabled. And then here in URL section, we have to paste the very same webhook URL, which we have just now copied from Pavli Connect. Just paste it over here, then scroll down. And then after that, we have to select an issue related event. So we have to select an event that for what event we want that Jira to send the data to Pavli Connect using this webhook URL. So the event which we will select is under issue created. So we have to select created under issue. After that, just scroll down and click on create over here. And the connection is done. We have successfully connected our Pavli Connect account with Jira using a webhook URL. Now, every time a new issue will be created in our Jira account, the details or the data of that very same Jira issue will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's do this. We will click on this create button and here we will create an issue. Let's select the project. For example, the project is Pavli Connect integration. Issue type is for example, a bug. Then we have to add the summary. So I'll add the summary as fix mapping button fix mapping button and I will add the description of this issue for example
Okay, so the mapping button in Public Connect is not working. This is a dummy issue which I have created, added the description and the summary is fix mapping button. Just click on create. Before that, let's just add a due date over here. So the due date will be 9th of July, one day after today. Just click on create. And we can see that a new issue is created over here in our Jira account. Let's view this. And this is the details of the issue. Now, because we have connected Public Connect with our Jira software, the response of this new issue creation will be captured inside Public Connect. Let's check it. We will get back to Public Connect. And here in trigger window, we can see that just now we have received a response over here. And this is the response of the very same issue which we have just now created few seconds ago in our Jira software. So we will find that we have the issue key over here. Then after that, we have the details like the issue type was bug. Then we'll scroll down. We will find other details regarding the issue, like the project in which we have created the issue with the project name Public Connect Integration. After that, we will scroll down and we will find other details regarding this issue, like the summary and the description. So here we will scroll down and we will find that this is the summary of the issue. Let me see. Yes, this mapping button is not working is in Public Connect is not working. So this is the description of the issue. We will scroll down further and we'll find this is the summary of the issue which we have created. So guys, we can see that we have successfully connected our Jira account with Public Connect. And after that, we have created a dummy issue, a test issue in our Jira software and received the details or the data of that new issue, which we have created inside Public Connect. And you can notice that in this, uh, and you can notice that in this response, we have the due date, which we have added of this very same issue. So after that, let's move to step two, where we will send this very same data to Salesforce so that we can create a task over there. For that, we will scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, we will search for Salesforce. Salesforce it is. After that, in action event, we have to select create task. So we'll scroll down and select create task as action event. Click on connect select add new connection. Now guys, we have to connect our Salesforce account with Public Connect over here. So just click on connect with Salesforce. And guys, because I have already logged into my Salesforce account in my browser, Public Connect detected that very same account. And here it is asking us for the authorization permission. Just click on allow. And now we can see that our Salesforce account is also connected to Public Connect successfully. So after making the connection, it is asking us for the name ID. So all the name IDs we can see in our Salesforce account in the drop down below. So we have to select the name ID. So I'll my se select my name ID. After that, it is asking us related to what it is, what this task is related to. So we just have to select the project over here. So for example, I'll select Postman over here. You can ch select change the name ID and related to same thing according to your choice in your own workflow. After that, it is asking us for the subject of the task which we want to create. So here in subject, we want to add the summary of the task or the issue which we have created in our Jira account. So we have received the response for summary in our trigger window response from uh, Jira software inside Public Connect. So we have here we have the issue field summary. So we will map this very same data, very same summary or very same response of our Jira issue summary over here in this subject field. And the process of mapping guys is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down below, we can see all the responses over here, which we have received from Jira software of new issue creation inside Public Connect. And out of all these responses, we will scroll down and we will see the response of issue field summary. Just select this response from the drop down, and it is mapped over here. Then it is asking us for the due date. So here in due date, we have to enter the due date of the issue which we have created. So we have also received the due date. Let's search for it. This was the due date. Let's map it over here. Then it is asking us for the status. So I want the status to be as not started for all the new tasks which I am creating. The priority should be normal and the assigned to should be automated process. It will automatically assign the task in my Salesforce account. Then it is asking us for the description. So we have also received the description of the issue. So we will map the very same description over here from the Jira software responses. So we have the description. Let's search for it. Okay, this is the description. Just select it and map it. Then rest of the fields are not mandatory guys. It is not necessary to enter the details in all of these fields. So we can ignore these fields for now. Then at last it is asking us reminder site. So I don't want to get the reminders for this task. So I'll set it on false. If you want to get the reminders, you can set it on true by default. And let's just click on save and send test request. Now after clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. 
and this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details or the data of the issue which we have created in Jira and received inside Public Connect, the very same with very same details, a new task is created in our Salesforce account. So let's check it. We will go to the home page of our Salesforce account and here we will search for task. Task it is. And yes, guys, we can see that just now a new task is created in our Salesforce account. So this is the name of the task, fix mapping button. This is the subject of the task. And we will see that it is related to Postman. This is the name, which uh, my name, whom we have, uh, the person who have created the task. And as well as guys, we can see the description of the task. The mapping button in Public Connect is not working. So just now guys, we saw that the issue which we have created in our Jira account is now automatically created as a task inside our Salesforce account, which means the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Please check that. Now let's just test this automation in real time once. We will go back to Jira and create a new issue over here. And we will see that that instantly the very same issue is created as a new task in our Salesforce account or not using this automation. So let's create an issue. So let's uh, not change the project. The project will be public connect integration. Let's change the summary. Uh, for example, MailChimp. Mail MailChimp is the uh, title or the summary of this issue. Uh, let's add a description. So I have added a description like this. MailChimp action window is not showing. Let's give a due date, for example, due date is 19th of July, 2022. And let's click on create. And we can see that we just now we have created a new issue inside our Jira software. Now, because we have created this automation with the very same details, we will see that a new task will be created in our Salesforce account. So let's check it. We'll go to the task page of Salesforce account. Let's refresh this page once. And yes, guys, we can see that just now instantly a new task is created in our Salesforce account with the very same details which we have added while creating an issue in our Jira software, which means the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now let's just get back to Public Connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation. So guys, first we have created a workflow inside Public Connect and in this workflow we have selected Jira software as a trigger application and configure webhook was our trigger event. Then using a webhook URL, we have connected our Jira software with Public Connect. After that, we have created a test issue, a dummy issue inside our Jira software so that we can get the details or the response of that new issue creation inside Public Connect. And after receiving that response, we have sent out all the details of that new issue to Salesforce so that we can create a task over there whenever a new issue is created in our Jira software. So not just these application guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And guys, one more important thing. You will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the very same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check Public Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.